And we've arrived and this place is outrageous. It's ridiculous. It's very different from where we stayed in Athens. Yeah, exactly. It was worth the hustle to get here, right? Yeah, for sure. Check this out. Bam! Look at this. Good morning from Athens. Good morning Greece. from our bunk beds. Oh yeah, we should probably talk about that. In Athens, Greece. Anyway, what are we doing? it's super early in the morning. It's, what's the time? 5.25am. And we are catching the ferry from Athens to Mykonos, Mykonos. today. We are catching the Hellenic Seaways instead yeah, not, of the Blue Star. Not Blue Star. Yeah. We found that the Blue Star was leaving earlier and for some reason was actually more expensive. So it's not necessarily always the cheapest, but just because it's one of the most well known, it seems like people always take it. We couldn't find any, too many videos about the whole, because you take ferries everywhere in Greece to get to the various islands. So we were like, we couldn't find any videos that really talk through it. So pricing, food on board, what's the seating situation versus the general situation, like. Where do you put your bag? Like, yeah, yeah all there's that. so much stuff. How long do these things take? So today, when we were awake, although we're excited so we're a little bit up we're gonna uh we're gonna go over all of it we're gonna just try and just document the whole thing but right now we need to just quickly grab our bag and we've got to head down because it's 7 40 a.m we uh we leave we leave yeah but we need to get to the metro but i'll explain that i'll explain that when we get closer because we have to go That was 15 minutes on the metro from the station Monastraki, which we're really lucky that we were staying right next to it. Um, most people, if you're watching this because you're planning on getting to the ferry, that's the station I think most people have to get to on the metro to transfer to come down. So it was pretty easy, Four, 450 euro each though, just to go like, to, like yeah, but it's a 24 hour ticket, which we obviously won't use, but that was 15 minutes. It's pretty easy to know where you're going though, because all of the people all over here, Everybody has their suitcases and I think everybody is island hopping as well. So we're just going to go through now, see how far we have to get to actually get to the ferry terminal itself before we can uh, try and figure out how to get onto the boat. Pretty crazy, babe. It's chaos here. It's hectic, isn't it? I think we found our boat, though. How, I did think... you, how do we spot it, though? Um, Jane found it. <laughs> <laughs> There's a sign up there. The back, if the back of all the boats have a different sign rotating, luckily, and it's digital, so it should be updated. It's just like a huge airplane, isn't it? Can you see any seat number? Uh, yeah, on the seat there. Seven, six, eight, so we must be down further. Yeah, it's just like a massive airplane. It's comfortable though. So I probably should mention that we have paid 40 euro for our ticket because this is like the one class above the basic price. The basic price you get access to like the outer decks and there's like a big shared lounge I think, is that right? Mm -hmm. Whereas at least we get guaranteed seats that we can sit in. Um, and I think it was only about five or eight euro or something more <laughs> to just have that comfort and know that like we've got this strip, this like airporty looking area that we've walked into. And I think it's gonna take, we're the second stop, so we don't know where it's stopping before this, but it's gonna take, so there's one more island first and it um, should be for us four and a half hours. Assuming we leave on time, and we had plenty of time, we arrived like 40 minutes before departure.
we always wondered what Fredo coffee was and we think it's one of these. <laughs> I just randomly ordered it. It was the same price. I think that's like an iced cappuccino or an iced latte. And then... Oh, foamy cappuccino maybe? Okay, we have no idea what's going on. They're the same price anyway, but if you, uh, if you want to get a coffee, get one before you get on board because these were eight euro in total. That is crazy. So these are the outside decks. If you, if you don't pay that extra five or eight euro, you're gonna be struggling with everybody else outside in the heat, no chairs available, sleeping on floors, bags on the ground. We're very pleased that we spent the extra. and film outside but it is so windy. so windy you can't even you just can't even stand there like your sunglasses will come off your face pro tip don't wear a dress like i did <laughs> it's glamorous oh yeah like a Mar In slow motion maybe a marilyn monroe <laughs> so coffee as we mentioned earlier is expensive and food is just as crazy just for like a pastry or like a roll or something a sandwich you're looking at i think it was anywhere between like six and like ten euro about eight euro on average so we came a little bit prepared we thought that might be the case how much was that I don't actually know what this is called, but we've had them all over Europe with similar ones. It's like 35, 35 cents. 35 cents. Definitely come prepared. Definitely. So the weather has been pretty bad. There's been a lot of um, swells. Swells, yeah. A lot of people on the outside got wet. You could see them walking through and like dripping with salt. Water. Yeah, and so now, so what we've had is people walking through up and down the aisles. They're all coming through into the lounges now trying to like scheme themselves somewhere yeah. to sit. But as you can tell, it's getting a bit chaotic. Everybody's starting to get off and new people are starting to get off. So we've just arrived at the stop before hours. It's been about three hours, I think, or maybe four hours. We've only got half an hour more. This is Ceros. transfer arranged so getting off the ferry was super easy for us I think there are actually public buses that you can take yeah and um, taxis as well are there and as taxis well, if you as really well. want to Mercedes taxis very fancy yeah they actually were um, and we've arrived and this place is outrageous it's, it's ridiculous. very different from where we stayed in Athens <laughs> yeah exactly it was worth the hustle to get here right yeah for sure check this out BAM look at this actually do you want to just like now that everyone's seen this and the sea view maybe explain what we're doing here again why we, we here? haven't Can actually we mentioned that? that no okay. why are we in mykonos first so my sister's getting married and so this in. is in santorini sorry um so we're doing like a pre-wedding sort of family holiday here for the next five nights um we've got friends and family meeting us here and then we'll all ferry over to Santorini and take you guys with us as well. 100%. But we're going to have to end this vlog here. And the next one we're going to do, we'll do a full tour. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because of, the, oh, hold on a minute. That's our room. That's our place. That is where we're staying. Inside that. With this, with this pool and that view. So, cliffhanger. Cliffhanger ending. So thank you so much for watching and we'll catch you in the comments. Bye. Bye.